So, in 2011, we made the game Pinata Hunter. It was a simple flash game. Pretty basic. You beat the heck out of a pinata, get candy, and you could buy weapons and upgrades. We had just five weapons in this game. As you can see here on the screen, there's not much to it. Uh, very simple, very shallow game. It ended up doing pretty good, and so we decided to make a sequel. So the next year, in 2012, we made Pinata Hunter 2. Uh, a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, a little brighter screen, more kid friendly. This game had 21 weapons in it. Not sure why I ended up putting blood on some of those for kids, but that's what it is. Um, so that's Pinata Hunter, Hunter 2. Uh, then, a few years later, 2015, we decided to revisit the game again. And so we made Pinata Hunter 3. This game is a little bit prettier. Uh, a little bit more bells and whistles. Uh, we did store that was basically the same thing, just a little better looking. Worked a little easier. And our pinata, as you can see, cringes when he gets hit this time. Um, this game has 32 weapons, and it's done pretty well. I'll show it off here a little bit. You see, there's the fish. I want to re put that in the new game. And the rubber chicken, of course, one of my favorites. Going through here. So in this game too, we had some microtransaction items. These four, the Gandalf staff, Kylo Ren, Saber, the Ferrari muffler, and Alien's arm. So those ones were microtransactions, which ended up being pretty good for us. So probably going to implement that in this new one as well. So that's Pinata Hunter 3. So now it's time for Pinata Hunter 4, 2017. And so here I started drawing some weapons up and I decided to record myself drawing a few more. What I do, I'll show my process really quick if you're interested, I just do a quick sketch out for new concepts, for new designs, and then I just draw right on top of them. So I put them in the wireframe uh, preview mode and then you could easily just draw right on top. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up now and put on some music so you don't have to listen to me talking anymore and draw a few items for the next hour and speed it up to about five minutes.
that's it. Thanks for watching, as always. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like these type of videos and game development and game art and animation. I plan to do lots of videos throughout the process of Pinata 4, uh, Pinata Hunter 4. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video.